As a guy on the edge of uh, the boomer generation, I remember driving across country and uh, before the days of the seek and the scan buttons on the radio, and this is with the turn knob of having to twist the knob to scan across the stations to see if I could tune in uh, to a station. And uh, that's kind of the way it is with our intuition. Today I want to talk about tuning in to your intuition. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Morning Love, your daily dose of love, hope, and encouragement from here at Buckwheat Farms, Magic Emporium, and Ballroom. Spring is is kind of creep knocking at the door. I uh, hope it's not a false spring. Um, I'm really, really, really hesitating from putting plants in, but uh, I got finally got the uh, the uh, aquaponic system pumping and working. I'll do uh, do a, uh, some content on that later on today. Uh, but uh, I want to talk today about about tuning in. Um, I am a uh, certified Reiki. Uh, I call it healing facilitator because I don't heal anyone. Doctors don't heal anyone. Uh, your body heals itself. Everything you know within your body is there to heal itself. I just facilitate uh, healing. And when I was uh, going through the classwork, uh, they were talking about the the things that you 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 do. Uh, is the way the study is all about tuning in an attunement is what they actually call it that the final ceremony is an attunement where you tune in to the healing frequency basically and uh, again understanding the, the concept of radio frequencies and and everything that was something that that I grasped um, and that's the that's the way it is with intuition with wisdom with knowledge um, have you ever have you ever said, wow, this would really be a great idea? And you kind of like mapped it through in your mind, whether it was whether it was a recipe or, or, a, or an invention or just a, a new concept and said, wow, this will really go and, and then kind of shelved it. And then like a couple months later, boom, it hits the market. And uh, well, th that's that that information that you created, that idea that you created, that uh, that energy that you created had to, to land somewhere. So there's this infinite stream of, of, of unrealized dreams, unrealized goals, wisdom, knowledge, all of this, all of this information that is just running through the environment all around us. So how do we tune in to that information? Um, there, I think it's a three-step process. The first, and if you listen to my earlier content, you know I'm all about self-love. Love yourself. In order to give, you've got to have. Okay, so first of all, you can't love someone. It's impossible to love someone else without loving yourself. And, and the main reason for this is because in order, you've got to trust that what, what you're hearing uh, is is your voice and not whose idea is that right uh so so that self-love is, is the is the first uh thing to, to in order to to believe that you're worthy of receiving this wisdom and this knowledge and this and, and this this intuition this this desire and, and that you can trust your heart is, is pure in it because you know again without self-love you question your motives when you when you have self-love you don't question your motives you say I'm doing this because it makes me feel good and you know what there's nothing wrong with that uh, then then the, the second uh, part of tuning in is gratitude there, there's something about thankfulness and here it is Thursday, it's thankful Thursday, as I like to say. Um, I go out in the, I'm about to go out and, and pop dandelions for my animals. And with every dandelion, it's a thank you. It's a thank you. But it's more than that. It, 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 this, this gratitude it is, it means that I have fully embraced all that whatever it is I'm thankful for means to me. That I am I'm embracing the full capacity of that. That I'm squeezing every bit of the good out of it, and that's what true gratitude is—not just thank you, but 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 just 
because gratitude is not just a, a one-time event it's an ongoing thing you know the old cliche an attitude of gratitude and, and it just creates this atmosphere around you where the universe wants to give you stuff because it's like uh, what is it, the, the passage of, uh, in the Bible that says the angels kind of stare in amazement because, because of all the created beings, we are the ones who can express the feeling of the emotion. So that gratitude, it, 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 I believe that is, that is where we, we tap into the divine is, is in that idea of gratitude. And so that moves into the third step, which is just manifesting. And you may think, well, no, you got to manifest and then be thankful for manifesting. No, 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 no. As you walk in gratitude, the manifestation follows you. See, we live actually in the past. There is no such thing as now, because as soon as you say now, it's gone. So we are constantly living in the past. So we've got to understand that we're bringing the past with us. And so that manifestation of just being once you love yourself and realize that you are you are god god is you there's no separating of the two the 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 piece of the hologram is the same as the as the hologram all of it exists within you and you exist with all of it and then th th that that permeates your 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 very life with this attitude of just eternal thankfulness for everything. I mean, even you cut your finger, I'm thankful for experiencing to know what that feels like. I'm thankful that I won't do that uh, again. And that's when you you just begin to be. Because we're not human doings. We're beings. We are expressions. We are individuated expressions of a divine whole today. Love yourself. Be grateful. Be. Tune in. Namaste.